hi, my name is Joe Bonga and I'm very happy to introduce you to the Africa Youth for SDGs. Uh, as we know in 2015, the world leaders gathered together in New York to sign um, the Global Goals, which came to inherit the Millennium Development Goals. And, uh, these goals focus really on uh, the planet, people and prosperity. And there is a belief that we have that uh, for us to continue in prosperity, as, you, as, as, as people, we need to make sure that the planet is sustainable. So the Africa Youth for, uh, uh, for SDGs is an initiative that brings together young African people uh, into our lab here, incubates ideas, uh, and the ideas must be uh, ideas that can meet the urgent uh, needs in terms of our social, economic, and environmental uh, challenges. So what we do is we come together, we do our needs assessment on various issues, we prioritize these issues and then we design uh, uh, initiatives that uh, can be scaled later on. And these initiatives must be uh, implementable. So as they come, we, the idea is just to make sure they're able to think through the issues instead of complaining into the issues. As they think through these issues, uh, we see what they can do, we match them with potential partners where possible, uh, but also we encourage them to go and take the actions of, uh, of implementing these, uh, uh, these ideas. So once you walk into our lab, uh, what will happen is you will get uh, knowledge, you will get skills, and of course we also deal with the attitude transformation in terms of just making sure you are part of uh, the players that are bringing social change, and not just the complainers or the critics. The, the Africa Youth for SDGs Lab is just a free space, providing this space where young people can come. They get the awareness of what SDGs are and the concept behind the SDGs, and they are also able to participate by ensuring that they are able to come up with innovative, uh, implementable, and scalable ideas. And then these ideas, they have to make sure that they are able to implement them. So as you see, we have all these are just brainstorming and. And analysis, various analysis that they work on and then they have to come up with a product and the product as I said has to be very innovative, uh, implementable and scalable in the end and uh, it also has to come up with the uh, aspect of uh, ideas that can help with mainstreaming, accelerating and supporting the various policies that exist towards sustainable development uh, goals especially. Uh, we are trying to test how to encourage rural development by ensuring that the knowledge, skills and attitude received here can be used to towards the projects within the rural setting so that we're able to bridge the gap between the urban development and the rural development. The SDG that we are working on is SDG 4 regarding quality education and uh, we were the target was SDG 4.7 and this was made possible courtesy of UNESCO MGEP from India. So 25 youth were brought here and uh, this is what we have as for now and I'm going to take you through what we have achieved as of now. So when we came here, we had to draw a tree of change and uh, we started by saying what are the contributing factors in low quality, low quality education in the country and how are we going to improve the current education system here in Kenya. So the youth here got together and in different groups we started working on various options. Basically this is about, to, uh, about the group PSPs that gathered here at the Africa youth for SDGs uh, lab to implement their ideas on how uh, we can realize goal number four and specifically goal number 4.7 which is about how we can ensure that everyone gains the education that can enable them to have sustainable development. And uh, basically, as you've heard uh, from my, my colleagues, we've had uh, solutions such as mentorship and we have solutions towards economic empowerment, which includes uh, uh, putting up uh, rabbit hatchery and also poultry farming. And uh, this is going to happen uh, in one particular school in Homa Bay, where we're going to have the mentorship team uh, lead the part in mentoring the community and enlightening them on uh, the importance of education and why they need to invest in the education. At the same time, uh, pro preempt ideas to them that can enable them to actually uh, play a role in uh, 
are raising these activities, the rabbit hatchery and the poultry farming, so that they can be able to uh, at least have a source of income which will enable them to actually invest in the education of their children to attain quality education. This will help us in uh, realizing goal number 4.7, which is quality education for sustainable development. We commit ourselves to promoting equitable and affordable access to sustainable basic physical and social infrastructure for all without discrimination including affordable, safe, healthcare and family planning, education, culture and information and communication technologies. We further commit ourselves to ensuring that these services are responsive to the rights and the needs of women, children and youth and older persons and persons with disabilities migrants, indigenous people and local communities as appropriate and to those of others in vulnerable situations. In this regard, we encourage the elimination of legal and institutional social, economic and physical barriers. New Urban Agenda 7 Urban Basic Services UBS Article 34 United Nations Human Settlements Program